For that cheddar on my side, we ain't playing fit for nothing. Little niggas put in work, shorty riding for his cousin. He be chilling, but it's nothing. You just gotta push his button. I ain't slipping, got a smithing. Niggas thought that I'd be bluffing. Yo, I'm a dog, nothing less than a great Dane. I'm really from the streets, so we had to hustle to maintain. I never switched up, I just changed lanes. I be with them niggas getting money and with niggas who gang bang. You niggas too frilly, you too strange. Cops some better work, hit the block, save up, get a new wilder. Um, you know, we can get into those those type of questions, but you know, I got a bunch of subject matter that I want to to cover. In regards to Wilder, I mean, I'll answer that real quick, uh, John. This is how I feel about Wilder. A, I feel like he's a point in his life that he's pretty much accomplished everything he could accomplish. And, you know, losing to Tyson Fury and fighting him those three times, I think took a lot out of him, his spirit, his competitiveness, and things of that nature. I mean, this guy went to wars. To, to wars with uh, Tyson Fury. And boxing, you know, and there's a famous quote, you don't play boxing, right? So if you're not there mentally, you can really get hurt. People die in boxing. So I don't believe in that. When I watched that fight, I just didn't feel like Wilder was, you know, was who who we were accustomed to seeing and he didn't have that edge. You know, he, you know, he just didn't seem like that's what he wanted anymore. And and in boxing, you you, you can't tip your toe and dip your toes in boxing, in, in my opinion. And and you know, you know, watching Deontay Wilder's last fight, well, that was the uh, the uh, New Year's card. Um, it was kind of like one of those things, like yo, you know, he's good in life right now. He he, he has money. He's made investments. He even brought up his investments in, in his uh in his uh, post fight. Right, and you could just see it. It's it's not in him anymore, and I feel like that's not a bad thing. Sometimes, as an athlete, uh, you you come to terms with like, you know what? I need to move forward. I need to just say, you know what? This ain't for me anymore. Because at the end of the day, you can actually die. You can actually die. You know what I'm saying? Literally. So if you're not ready to go in there uh, mentally, if you're not training yourself for that type of thing, you know, he seems like he hung it up. And and, that, and that's just my opinion. And um, he's going to go down to me as the biggest puncher in, in the heavyweight divisions ever seen. Like, literally, the guy, um, you know, had immaculate power. I don't think anybody's ever punched like him at that division. But, you know, you know, I'm hearing rumors of him and Anthony Joshua. Watching that fight, I, I don't want to see. I don't believe his heart is actually in it anymore. And, um... I think he's a great fighter. I just hope that, um, you know, he, he moves forward in life and continues to do what he does. But I just don't see him um, – I don't think he's hungry anymore. And I, and I think that's something that, that we have to understand with fighters, that we don't want them to put themselves in a position where they're not ready or they're not mentally there. Because boxing is, is – is, yes, it is physical, 100%. But also you got to